working both with and without a CNC, please consider subscribing and click to turn on notifications so you'll be notified when I post new videos. For those who are already subscribed, thank you. Your support means more than you know. Okay, today we're going to be looking at the cam clamp. This is the small version I have available on my website as an SVG. And it's really basic. Uh, this part right here is the only part that makes that the cam. That's the part that holds your work. The rest of this is just a handle. I've seen them go crazy with designs and shapes and make it more ergonomic so you can hold it like this but that's not what it's for it's it's a clamp bolt goes in here tighten it loosen it the key to a cam clamp is the distance here has to get increasingly larger at a steady rate from the pivot so it works it's it's very basic this one I've got a, a pocket down there for a bolt this side doesn't have one but it can be used either way depending on which way you want to clamp but it only provides side pressure right here and I'll show you over here. See, I, I've got it holding down a piece on my CNC right now. And it's, it's not going to go anywhere. But I'm still left with this handle piece. And I think we can do better. Like I said, cam, this is the only part of the cam clamp that is intended to hold anything. But it provides no pressure down to hold a workpiece down. So they're single function, but they do function well. So let's see what we can do to maybe make use of the handle. So here we are with the cam clamp. This is what we started with. And as we discussed, this is the only part right here that offers any clamping at all. This is just the handle. And instead of making it ergonomic or putting a dragon's head on the end just because you can, I want to make them more usable for other things. And that's where we have this modification. I didn't do a pocket in these because I really don't, I don't care that much about insetting this right now. I can add it, but this will still suit my purposes. Still got the cam action. But if you'll notice this one is backwards there is the one that matches the cam clamp we've already got what does this do this gives us the same cam clamping pressure that we had we can do it the same direction or we can do it the opposite direction whichever way we need but we've also got a way that we can hold down we can either do it there or if we need to be able to adjust it you've got a, you've got a slot here that you can adjust See? And what is good about this design is if you've got a piece of stock 
that you want to be able to line up, take off and line up later, you've got a way here. You can line it up however you need. And this means, since that's a slot, we can line up square, circle, pretty much any shape material we need, which gives us much better functionality overall than just that. And if we look at how this is done, if you need it higher, you can add it, you know, put blocks under it. But this side right here and this down here are both straight. So what that means to me is I can take this over to my table saw and get a a backer that'll ride along my fence or that'll attach to my fence and I can use this as a stop block just like that I can also take this, turn it like that, and put it up on my fence for my table saw, attach it right here, be able to use my crosscut sled for repeatable cuts. That way I can stop it up against there, and then when I push the crosscut sled, it'll push away from this. So I'll have a gap, three quarters of an inch, between the end of my stock and my fence. So I really don't know why I haven't seen anything like this. I've seen, I've seen this part, and I've seen this part. I just don't see why you can't put them together. If you want to you know, cut a groove down in here, a pocket down in here, so that your screw will go down in there further. Perfectly fine to do that. You got two different, two different directions that they can go. If you only want to use this one, you just mill this one. If you only want this one, you just mill that. They're both identical as far as the straight edges, the pocket length, they both still have the hole, so if you just need a cam clamp, that's fine. It's still got enough meat on it so that it'll hold something pretty sturdy without having to worry about it. So, this is what I'm going to call cam plus clamps, and I'll have those in some format up on the website as soon as I can get them there but that's what I came up with make my cam clamps a lot more usable in a lot more situations let me know what y'all think down in the comments until next time